On Friday, January 27th, the Student Health Service at SUNY New Paltz shared an update on the mumps outbreak that began October 7th, 2016. NPC TV's Zachary Kerman filed the following report. As a new semester commenced, new details emerged regarding the current status of the mumps virus. We have not had any cases so far since coming back from break. I think it's been a good sign. Student Health Service Director Dr. Jack Ordway gave an in-depth explanation as to why the mumps are still a prominent threat on campus, stating that the school is required to wait a certain number of days before declaring the virus a non-issue. Ordway also dispersed helpful tips on how students can avoid the mumps. We have students on campus who have already had at least two MMRs, or the, the vaccinations against mumps, making sure that they are using proper hand hygiene, don't share any utensils, don't share any glasses, um, be careful who you kiss. In addition to sharing his opinion on whether or not the mumps would cease to exist on campus anytime soon, Dr. Ordway gave his take on how the mumps outbreak has impacted SUNY New Paltz in a positive light, praising the measures the campus has taken to prevent the virus from spreading. I've, I've been very impressed with the way the students have handled it. And when we had our pod, everybody was very upbeat. Select students were also interviewed about their perspective on the mumps outbreak. I was surprised about it the, like, last semester when I heard mumps was, like, there, it was just spreading on campus. I was really surprised about that. I've definitely been using a lot more hand sanitizer. Um, I don't share any drinks. I was a little disturbed at the fact that there's still cases going on. Um, I'm actually a lifeguard at the pool and I know that it, that affected a lot of the swimmers there, so it was a little bit disturbing. For more information, check out the Health Center at www.newpaltz.edu slash health center. Reporting from SUNY New Paltz, I'm Zachary Kerman, NPC-TV.